Hey guys, good morning. I'm going to do the TMI tag, which is a list of 50 questions all about me, basically just two information. More information than you probably need. Number one, what are you wearing? Um, right now I'm wearing this black sweater top that I got yesterday. Um, at Lowman's actually, because if you guys don't know, um, the Lowman's um, department stores are going out of business, so this was like 70% off. It was really awesome. Um, and a necklace, and yeah, okay. Number two, have you ever been in love? Yes. Number three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? No. Number four, how tall are you? I'm five foot four, and it's very sad and depressing because I'll never be five foot six, which means I'll never be a raccoon. Moving on. How much do you weigh? I weigh 99 pounds. Any tattoos? No. Number seven, any piercings? Just my ears. Number eight, OTP? What does OTP stand for? I don't know what OTP stands for. It's probably something very basic that I should know. But I don't, so I'm going to skip that one. Number nine, favorite show? My favorite show currently is Revenge. But I also like the crazy ones with Robin Williams. That one's really funny. I like to sit in my bed at night and watch that one. Number 10, favorite bands. Um, I have a lot of favorite bands. I would say of the moment, my first my favorite band of the moment is Imagine Dragons. My 14-year-old brother got me into that band. And if you read my blog, which you should, go read my blog. You'll know that I had sort of an interesting um, experience buying tickets on a street corner on Craigslist for that band, for the Imagine Dragons for a concert coming up in March. So go read that post. It's quite interesting. Number 11. That's number 11. Something I miss. What do I miss? Mm, I miss summer because it's freezing. Number 12. Favorite song. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of favorite songs. The first one that I think of off the top of my head is Just Dance by Lady Gaga. I love that song. That one came out around the time when I was finishing high school and I wasn't really, I didn't know where my life was really going and I'm a dancer and that song would come on and I would just dance to it. How old are you? Number 13. I'm 21. Number 14, what's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Cancer, July 3rd, summer. Number 15, quality you look for in a partner. I would say someone who's driven and ambitious, just like me, and someone funny. <laughs> Number 16, my favorite quote. Uh, my favorite quote as of late is one by Will Smith, and it goes something along the lines of, being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Oops, I just kicked the camera. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Number 17, my favorite actor. I have a lot of favorite actors, although no one that I'm really obsessed with. I would say someone that I appreciate for his acting skills as well as his looks uh, is Johnny Depp. I think everyone can appreciate Johnny Depp because he is a fantastic actor. And I like him in his, I guess, creepy roles too. He's very good at he's very good at those. Willy Wonka. Um, number eighteen. Your favorite color. My favorite color is blue, but I also like green. Number nineteen. Loud music or soft music depends on my mood. Number twenty. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, I don't really go anywhere when I'm sad, depending on where I am, I guess, but if I'm sad, I'll just turn on some music and start dancing, and it makes me feel better. <laughs> Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Um, to actually shower, about 10 minutes, but the whole process of showering, like taking off my makeup in the bathroom and moisturizing and all that kind of stuff, probably takes about 20 minutes. Number 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It depends. If I'm just getting ready to go to work, maybe 20, 30 minutes. If I want to look a little nicer, I guess. Um, it can take me about an hour. Number 23, have I ever been in a physical fight? No. Number 24, turn on, question mark. 
what turns me on. Ooh, what turns me on? <laughs> um, I would say probably, again, someone who is ambitious. Number 25, turn off. Ignorance. And not ignorance in you don't know something, because you can't, it's not your fault if you don't know something, but ignorance in that if you have the information given to you and you choose to ignore it and just still go by your own beliefs regardless of, you know, the evidence or whatever, that bothers me. Number 26, the reason I joined YouTube, um, well, as you guys probably know if you're watching this video, I also read a blog, Undeniably Me, and this is, a, this is an extension of that. Although, fun fact that many of you may not know, I actually wanted to start this YouTube channel before I started my blog, but I was too scared, and... I was more comfortable with blogging because I have done blogging before. I had blogged for four years previously. And I wanted to start a new, I guess, brand, internet brand. And I really wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I thought, <laughs> what if I'm just going to like make random videos and put them on the internet? I mean, a lot of people do, and if you did that, good for you. But I, that for me, I was like, I need to work my way up to that point, I guess. So I started my blog, which I love. My blog is like my little baby. And then that was, once I sort of got a little following I on my blog, that became my excuse to make a YouTube channel. And I was more comfortable doing it that way. So that's why I started my YouTube channel. Number 27, fears. Um, my biggest fear in life is not accomplishing everything that I want to. Number 28, the last thing I need to cry. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't cry very often. The last time you said you loved someone, aww, I said I love you to Squishy, my cat. Near me meow. I love you, Squishy. <laughs> You're funny. Number 30, the meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, as I just said, it is an extension of my blog. Number 31, the last book you read. Hmm. This is going to sound really sad because I haven't read anything in a very long time. And it's sad because I am a big reader, if you know me. Squishy! Um, hello! No, you're interrupting! Squish! No! What are you doing? You're bad. Well, just ignore him. Um, what was I saying? Reading. Yes. Oh, okay. If you know me, I'm a very big reader. I have read hundreds of books, literally. I have a shelf back there just full of books. And lately, just with the amount that I've been working and the amount of time I've been putting into my blog, I haven't had that much time to read, and it's sad. So I honestly I can't tell you what was the last book I read. Number 32, the book you're currently reading. Again, not reading. Number 33, the last show you watched. I haven't watched any shows recently either. I'm a workaholic. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to sound so bad. <laughs> the last show that I watched was Toddlers and Tiaras. I know, I know, I know. It's really, oh, I know. It's terrible. But let me defend myself. I feel like I have to defend myself if I say the last show I watched was Toddlers and Tiaras. I didn't actually sit down to watch the show. That's one of those shows that I like having on when I'm doing other things. I call it a busy show. Uh, while I'll be writing a blog post or cleaning or folding laundry, that kind of thing. Sometimes I like to have something on the TV that I can just sort of listen to more rather than watch. So that justifies it, right? Yes? Okay. Justified. Moving on. The last person you talked to... Um, the checkout guy at Target last night, yep. Number 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. Um, I last texted my mom, so I feel like that relationship would be self-explanatory. 
Number 36, your favorite food, pasta. I love pasta. Number 37, the place you want to visit. Um, I want to visit a lot of places, but the place that I want to visit soonest would have to be Toronto because I just met one of my favorite bloggers from Toronto. She came to visit me last weekend and I'm already planning my trip up there to visit her. So that's where I want to go next. The last place I was, Target. I was at Target yesterday. Yeah. 39, do you have a crush? No. Number 40, the last time you kissed someone. The last someone I squished, kissed, the last someone I squished, the last someone I kissed was Squishy. Hello. I kissed you, yeah. You're a little monster. His name's actually Oliver, but he doesn't know his name's Oliver. He only knows his name is Squishy, so that's what I call him. Number 41, the last time you were insulted, um, probably yesterday. I guess being on the internet, you kind of have to deal with that. Let it brush off your shoulder. Um, number 42, my favorite flavor of sweets. Chocolate. That's not even, I don't even have to think about that. Number 43, what instruments do you play? I wouldn't say that I play the piano, but I have a better knowledge of the piano than any other instrument, so we'll go with that one. Number 44, my favorite piece of jewelry. Um, I don't really have a favorite piece of jewelry. I'm not as into jewelry as some girls. I more think of jewelry as a way to accessorize my clothes. So my favorite piece of jewelry is going to be whatever goes best with my outfit. Number 45, the last sport I played. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, I've never played a sport in my life. Ever. Other than, like, back backyard with your siblings kind of... Sports, I've never been on a sports team because I was always a dancer, so I was never interested. Um, the last song I sang, probably, oh, are you coming up again? Hi. Hello. You're interrupting, yes, you'll be in so bad. I'm going to call this game when I'm cold. What are you doing? over and make a disaster of everything. Yes, you are. Hello. You're showing your butt to the camera. That's not nice. No. That's not cute. Go away. Okay, the last... Okay, yes. Play with that. Look. Here. Get it. Okay. <laughs> Distraction. Um, the last song I sang... Probably something in the car, and it probably did not sound very good. Number 47, my favorite chat-up line. What? What is that? What's a chat-up line? Does that mean a pickup line? I don't have a favorite pickup line. I think they're stupid. Number 48, have you ever used it? Well, I think they're stupid, so no. <laughs> Number 49, the last time you hung out with anyone. Um, over the weekend with my friend from Canada. Number 50, who should answer the questions next? Everybody, all of you, answer them. I hate tagging people. That's the thing about tags. You have to actually, after you do the tag, you have to do more work and think of other people that do them. And I just don't have time for that. Especially right now, because I have to go someplace. I gotta, gotta get going. Squishy, what are you doing? Now you're rolling the pen around the floor. Yeah, I see. So yes, um, that is it for my TMI tag. I hope that was too much information for you that you really don't care about. If you made it to the end of the video, props to you. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Uh, go check out my blog. Read my blog, meandeniably.com. I'm also going to put a link to Callie's blog in the description because she's the one who tagged me. So go check her blog out too. And, yeah, have a good day, I guess. I don't know. I need to work on my outros. Whatever. Goodbye.